Shit, shit, that beard. See, I just lean back. Yeah, that beard straight, man. Uh, turn the volume down a tad. Let me slide it just a little bit different, just a little bit soon. All right, man, shit. We changing that bitch up a little bit, bro. We going, we doing the higher knowledge, bro. The hot box edition, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We asked for shit. Well, I asked what you popping off in the crib, and I really ain't wanna, you know what I'm saying, miss the opportunity, cause we both working our asses off, you know what I'm saying? We both got shit we gotta do, kids, family, business, so it's like, you can't stop the grind, but shit going right into that note, man. I ain't even doing no fire <coughs> transition. Man, what people need to remember. For shit, for the the men out there who think you gotta work fucking 90 hours a week, and for them ladies out there who put in all them fucking hours. Man, don't let these companies, these corporations break your fucking body down, bro. Wear your body out and shit. Do what... Now, there's a difference between being lazy, you know what I'm saying, but do... Know your worth, I guess. Yeah, yeah like know your worth. And once you start really feeling your body feeling weird, you, you realize, oh, I haven't eaten in 12 hours. Like that's not a sign of oh I'm I'm strong. That's like nigga, your body probably going into some reserve mode. You're mm -hmm. not supposed to not eat for 12 hours on average. And then you working on top of that not eating. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not eating, there's a good chance you're not what you're not drinking. Right. And then we've all been in that situation where we've been in school or something, but we had a long day. It'll be eight nine hours, and we realize oh we ain't drink, eat, piss shit nothing. Jeez. Our body just. It's crazy you say that, nigga. I was working with literally at the end of the shit. We did, I want to say, like two or three jobs that day. And literally at the end, this nigga started throwing up. Oh, shit. Threw up, recently? Threw up, threw up twice. Yeah, like maybe like a week and a half ago. Two? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he wasn't drinking no fluid, but at the same time, that just shows you how hard this nigga he was working. You know what I'm saying? Well, he threw up twice. How many times we didn't see that in basketball? But after, I know when I was in school, they called it smoked or, you know, whatever they term is for when they, they work you real hard. We didn't see cats throw up after being worked too hard. For real. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But you say in sports, they think that shit normal. Like, if you ain't doing, if you ain't throwing up on the field or on the court, nigga, you ain't yeah, working hard hey, enough. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, and see, I, I'll even give them a little pass on that only because those conditions, you're training your body. Right, right, when right. You, But if your job, if you aren't passionate about it, you know what I'm saying? Or if it isn't, what you want to do. If it, the, your worth and what they're doing, if it isn't leveled, you shouldn't be breaking your body like that. Like mm -hmm. for this situation with you, you be, you might be going 12, probably probably a good 12, 12 hours sometime, maybe like 13, mm -hmm. and then they expect you to come and do that bitch again. Okay, cool, you know sometimes shit got to pop. I, I get it, you know having two, <coughs> two, uh, two hard days, I, I gotta say that's a business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, three, oh my phone over here, I'm like, what? Where the music went, my damn Google trying to sneak up on me, listening to me, motherfucker. But nah, man, I, like I get, you know, but then I guess as a business person, as a manager, as a former manager running a company, mm -hmm. I'm letting my staff know, hey, bro, the next three days is going to be heated. You know what I'm saying? So if like, if you got to, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you ain't got to do shit. I'm going to need you the next three days. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving you a heads up. It's going to be some long shifts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if, um, if it ain't nothing important, Try to get as much food, water, sleep as you can. Mm. That just give you the heads up to not, you know, not so go, you know. Yeah, to not yeah. play around, not to be up all night playing a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I understand, cause I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and split the half, man. Cause I feel like just doing it. Cause I know some people run the business, they'll agree with some of it, mm. but it's like, it's a dual partnership. Bro. I can't just run your body into the ground because then if you're, if you're not here to work <coughs> for me, it's gonna fuck me over in the long run. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like, I, I just feel like there's a way to, Accommodate the worker and the customer and the company like you know what I'm saying they got to be a way bro They you, they, they talk have? about they they got all these jobs Yeah, so you need drivers for the truck and you mm -hmm. need helpers But if you know we all right, both, we both nigga, drive trucks by the way. We both do some form of delivery You feel me? So real. so we, so if you know that this worker, okay, he, he didn't work three four days straight Non-stop he been getting it. I'm gonna let him off you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna replace him with this work or bring somebody. Like, bro, it's why like they gotta they ask? Do. Why, like, why, if you' supposed to be aware, why? Like my, and that shit really kind of be driving me, bro. Not even just because I was in the situation, because I just don't like when people complain about stuff 
Like I, when managers complained about, man, they ain't got no good workers. I used to believe that to a certain degree, but I'm like, man, you not training these motherfuckers. You letting you, you breaking their body down. You want? Why they not fucking coming back? Like. <laughs> Or Most missing or t taking off when they want, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, let's not be fucked. I don't give a fuck who you work for. You could be the the COO. You could be the one. You could be fifth in line at Nike, bro. You can be fourth in line at Chase. You could be the richest of the rich white man out there. It don't matter, bro. You not trying to do some shit that you don't fuck with. You not trying to do it. So it's like if I like my job or if I feel respected at my job, I'm not even like it. Mm -hmm. If you feel that your effort is being reciprocated yeah you won't go above me on because most people are like okay last time i stayed late the boss showed me some love in front of everybody you know what i'm saying gave me a little ten dollar for lunch you know that ain't really nothing but i appreciate but, right. the, the sentiment so you know what I'm saying? i don't mind going all next time hmm. not just because you might get a free 10 but you know at least somebody's recognizing you know what i'm saying people say the same shit in relationships i just want to be seen yeah but you a bush ass and they be like do it again next day <laughs> Like nigga, no, that was about 150. You don't just do 150 multiple times. Like you know, and they look at it like shit, you getting paid. So that's 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 it. You know what I'm saying? You getting a paycheck. But damn, nigga, like after a while, it's not about the money. Shit, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to take care of my family, pay bills and shit, but I wanna be happy too, nigga. I'm not trying to come to this bitch and just Drain myself, go home. I ain't got time for shit. I can't. I can't sit up and you take, can't do play your, with the you kids can't do your that. music. You can't enjoy first. First, you can't enjoy your family. You can't enjoy your own time. You don't have the energy to go do something happy or enjoyable to replenish yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you just want to go, man, and play chess with some old head. You ain't got the energy to do that. And they Nigga, that bitch knocking down pieces and shit. Man, dog, I'm like, man, I. I gotta be at work for two sometime. Boom. That bitch would be finished. Let's say it finished around nine or something. On on a good day, on a good, smooth, perfect day. Mm -hmm. We done nine, ten o'clock. My, my, I'm like, okay, cool. I tell people, you know what I'm saying? You, I, I done made the podcast, so I like to talk. You know, motherfucker, know I got kids. I got other shit I do outside of this. I'm a human being, I'm alive, so I mean, I probably do some shit. Hmm. Motherfucker, I'll be like, Shit, we gonna be done by, I mean, we gonna be done by 2, 2.20 because I got a doctor's appointment today. Oh yeah, we gonna be done way before then. I bet. I'm assuming you gonna be knowing what you're talking about. Man, my nigga, six o'clock come around, we still at work. Mo ain't no urgency. You know what I'm saying? Like if you tell, bro, like and I understand people don't be missing that shit. Yeah. If you tell me, man, shit, we gonna be done by like one o'clock? You didn't give me a specific time. So I'm like, you not, even if you wanted to get the fuck home. We all wanna get the fuck home. I don't want you to be in this fucking truck with me all day. You got shit to do, so if a nigga has a time. Bro, and it's crazy, it be, see I work with, you work with just you and, and dude. See, I be having a crew of like three, four niggas at one mm. at, at time, so. You be leading be, that bitch or like, yeah, yeah, cause I be the driver, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm the driver, I basically the, you know, the lead of the crew and shit. Set everything up, basically. So yeah. I be listening, like niggas really will be, like trying to stay at work. I don't know if they trying to milk the clock or what. Nigga be like, man, you, man, let's take a break. Let's, me in my mind, I'm like, nigga, I'm trying to get this shit done and go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck a break, nigga. We could break at the house. When yeah. I get to my house, I'm gonna be breaking, nigga. I don't know, bro. That's just not, that's just me. I don't want to be. But see, why so. some niggas don't want to be at their house? Right, cause they ain't got shit going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but look, but then what's fire? It's like. You could still have a way around that shit. Okay, nigga, you want to milk the clock? All right, bet. You know, but management ain't gonna let shit ride like that. So that's why I'm like, I'm not encouraging everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just, you know, say fuck a job. Especially my mama see this. She gonna be like, you need some, you know, you need structure. I'm like, yeah, I know I need the job, but it's like the way people are these days, mm -hmm. the way companies are set to train people. It's like it's almost pointless to work hard. Right. Like it's really almost pointless. Like, you know, besides the fact that people, you know, like people will, people will see you, but it's like, when it comes to moving up anything valuable, there's always a ceiling. If you start from the bottom, you're a regular motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be the CEO of a fucking IBM <laughs> within 10, 15 years unless you super dope ass. You know what I'm saying? Who, who the fuck is just going to work in it? Right. 
I don't know the way to explain this side. That's just something crazy. <coughs> Motherfuckers just hoping and relying on people to, you know, you know, people ain't shit. You know, people trying to don't and do it. It's, it's crazy, like, that you say that because not, you know, nigga work hard for 10, 15 years thinking, okay, I do this, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna get more money, you know. I'm a, you know, I ain't gonna have to do this hard work. I'm gonna be chilling Shit. in the office. Then look, look, the boss, homeboy, cousin, a brother. All right, man, you got the job. They, they ain't worked a lick of man. Ain't did nothing. They ain't flipped yeah, the paper yeah, in that bitch, but he got the. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit, bro. But niggas don't understand that, bro. Like, man, that's what I be telling people. My my main thing is this: people talk about job security, man. Job. There's no such thing as job security to me. Only because nothing's cause I in retail I didn't seen it and then you see it on the news. There's nothing stopping. Man, let's just say your boss is a, a white man who loves black people. Like now, now this is real. He loves black people. He ain't on the race. He the coolest motherfucking white man ever. He uses white privilege to, for the good of society and all that good stuff. He's looking out for you. He making sure this person homework done. He's a legit fire ass individual. Mm -hmm. What's stopping him from just moving to another job and a person that comes after him ain't mm -hmm. shit. Right. So your whole life is relying upon this one person not that's moving. Right. And, and I'd be like, bro, that's that's literally not security. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, now if you got four, five, or six bosses in this job that have the same mind frame, yeah, yeah. different story. You have a culture now, mm -hmm. but most jobs don't have. It's always and like then, one dude that's cool that's like, hey, right, I'll make right, sure y'all right. goo up. So what happened when he, he, his life did better? Transfer, yeah, or uh, move up somewhere. Yeah, else. so, gotta... so <laughs> let's, let's say, I, that be nothing. Let's, let's, you know, fuck people ahead. Let's say on, on a good note, something bad happened. He mm. get a promotion somewhere else. He <laughs> find a better job. He started his own business. He have a baby and now. He got to do some other shit. Now he gotta leave mm. for the betterment of himself. Right. And now the new person come in is the boss's nephew, uncle. They've been waiting for this nigga to leave, but he, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All this shit I didn't see. Or he like fuck this job. I can't be great because they hating on me. Mm. My bad, Jay. My bad, Huggy. But I'm not finna stay here. Them fucking fuck over me. I'm out. And now the trickle down effect. Right. It's too easy for that to happen at job, but people be like, you know, get a job and it's secure. That's why I'm so wishy washy with jobs, and I be going to jobs where it's like, it ain't like, I ain't gonna say it's, how can I say it? It's it's easier to show who the faults are. Mm -hmm. It's like they say you ride you ride the middle. Let me get, let me get that line. You. you ride the middle of that bit, so it's like. I'm not doing this. I'm not going hard up here to get everybody's attention. I'm not gonna be a bum. I'm a coach right here in the fucking middle. Mm -hmm. So that way, when shit hit the fan, I can be like, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I just drive, or yeah. I just load. I just load. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame me even. Man, you didn't notice nothing about this check. I just can't read, master. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, then, if at yeah, the same yeah. time it's like, hey, who want to do this bullshit as grunt work? It's like, my nigga, you need a driver. I'm one of the best ones that don't show up to work drunk and fucked up and shit. Mm -hmm. If I do that grunt work, you know, so that's why I like to be at it because the job ain't secure to me, in my opinion, bro. And a, a lot of people will disagree, but a good job ain't secure, man. Nigga, all that benefit shit, that's a, all that shit cool. But we see how that shit change when it comes to politics. Hmm. That shit could change in the drop of a dime. Come man. on, man. You could be at this fire ass job, benefits. Benefits so far, they pay your house note. New president come in, boom. So your whole life been structured around, you feel me, this uh oh, shit. been structured around this one person or this one concept. Right. Like, I don't understand how is that security. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then they can fucking check up. Cause like you can see, you see that now with the with the pandemic, how yeah. how shit crashing and you know niggas losing jobs. Like you know what I'm saying? But see that's why I fucking got retail so heavy. You got motherfuckers that's made money in the pandemic, son. Millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I bet you they not working. I don't a job. Mean to interrupt. So I found this, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to stuff this within this. <laughs> See how this just some random shit. Yeah. Uh, I, would go, I just like, oh, I think I'm gonna have a little nut. But now finish, finish that last piece you were saying, cause that was. But yeah. Oh, yeah. people, people making yeah, money yeah, in the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, yeah. You done had niggas made millions, and I bet you they don't work no nine two five. Like, shit, who, who, who you talking about in particular? You just, you just saying like, what them? Shit, I know the baby that made millions. I don't know what the mm -hmm. fuck he did, but then nigga said he done made millions, cause yeah. I know he wasn't making millions touring, cause nigga shit, shit was cold. Can't, you came so, to. Him. You know what I'm saying? They had a um. It was another guy. Sada, there was a couple Sada of other baby too was saying I didn't rack I didn't rack up a meal in the quarantine. Yeah. You know, and he talking about, it, you know, some people doing it and they got uh GameStop. 
they got other motherfuckers they got some businesses and shit they didn't they didn't started uh selling lectures and selling mm -hmm. like different online shit like niggas really yeah. getting money. So man, like dog, I'm like, bro, these when you have all these avenues, why the fuck am I gonna put myself in the situation? You know what I'm saying? Like I then watch this too. Like I had to run it with my mom's and and I think I might have gotten it through to her, but I know it it's hard to explain if you're not in it. And the reason I just I just keep praising retail because retail is like in my personal opinion, mm. re just Clothes retail, like you selling shit, customer service retail, cashier stock, regular shit. I think that is the the best open book or the best movie or the best representation of life because you get every single solitary different facet of life in one building. Mm. The broke, the rich, mm. the super super. You like they got people that you know that they only shop Gucci. Mm. They don't hate polo. They'll go on polo to get a polo cap. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Or they'll go to Nike and grab some dope shoes. Like people mm -hmm. that shop upper class. You know, we live in Louisiana, so even if we go to Texas, it's the same thing. You know, niggas right, will pull right, up right, in a right. Ferrari and go Polo, Nike, Adidas, places like that. So if you shop in the right place, mm -hmm. you can see a black car if you, you know, if you're in the right area to, to have enough bread. Cause yeah. we done had some time where Manny Freshly came in when I worked at Nike, mm -hmm. or Kevin Gates right before, right, right, right before he blew up was in that bitch. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So you know, people, you know who.